Has Christianity always been one of the religions in the world to you? Oh, hallelujah. Christianity is not a religion. Neither is it a joining of a church and doing the Christian things like praying and giving and so on. Hallelujah. Christianity is the outworking of God's own kind of life received into the spirit of a man. Whoa. This divine life in the heart of a man makes him righteous. It keeps him healthy, divinely guarded in life, prosperous and victorious. It gives you the ability to enjoy intimate fellowship with the Father and have dominion on this earth. Hallelujah. Yes, in every generation on the earth, God sends special messengers with unique messages to fulfill His word in their dispensation. Whether through the Emancipator, church services, special conferences like the New Christian Conference or the Good Life Devotion, carefully listen, watch and read the message of life and of the divinity of the church ministered by Dr. David Bindan as ordained by God in the scriptures to mature the body of Christ into the full measure of the stature of Christ. Dr. David Bindan taking us on our journey in Christ into sinlessness, sicklessness, deathlessness, lacklessness and leaving us manifested sons of God to the glory of our Father. Hallelujah. Join Dr. David Bindon on the Good Life Devotion every Monday to Friday on this channel and receive truth that will usher you into the divine life experience of sinless holiness, incorruptible health, deathlessness, and reigning in life as a son of God in the full measure of the stature of Christ. Kindly note that you can enjoy the Good Life Devotion on these other platforms at their stated times. Do choose the most convenient one for you or switch to another in case of a broadcast challenge with your usual platform. By all means, don't miss the Good Life Devotion any day. Now, welcome to today's episode with Dr. David Bindon. Wow, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I welcome all of us to today's special episode of the Good Life Devotion with Dr. David Bindan. The Good Life Devotion is your center for biblically authoritative teachings, bringing you the right division of God's Word, bringing the body of Christ to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, and bringing us into maturity, into that glorious church that Jesus is coming for. Wow. I'm so honored and so privileged to be on set today. And I want to thank my ministers of God for this uncommon privilege. We are in the NCC Hub special episodes of the Good Life Devotion. Today is Friday the 15th. And yesterday, the New Creation Conference 2024 began. We had day one and today is going to be day two. You should have been there if you missed. And I know that if you were there, you definitely will not miss this evening's session. And so today I want to give you an idea of what took place at the New Creation Conference Day 1. And we have an esteemed minister of God who was also present to help us do that. Now before we go into our discussions, I want us to have this word of prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for this opportunity to be transformed by your word, even as we share in fellowship. We thank you that the surface of the earth is being renewed. Thank you for the, for the light of your word that is shining in our hearts and manifesting in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Wow. So, with me today is the head pastor of the Citadel of Triumph Ministries, which is headquartered at Abokobi in the Greater Accra region. And he is in the person of Apostle Dr. Timothy Ama Glory. Apostle, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Dr. Gani. Wow, I'm so honored to have you on set with me today. NCC 2024, yesterday was day one. 
<laughs> and you know the theme for this year is deathlessness deathlessness apostle can you share with us how the atmosphere was yesterday thank you very much dr gani and i want to take this opportunity to also say a very big thank you to the holy spirit for giving me this opportunity as well as our ministers of god dr david bendan and the wife for also believing in us and the ministry that god has given us so yesterday was the day one of the ncc 2024 um this has been the long-awaited NCC. Wow. Um, comparing it to previous years, mm. I, I believe that the expectation this year has really, really been great yeah. because of the subject matter in question, <laughs> which has to do with deathlessness. Mm. We all came in with great expectations and all that, and I believe the Holy Spirit actually met everyone's expectation and even beyond that. Mm. I came quite early before the program itself started and even 30 minutes into the program, the choir was already stirring up the atmosphere for what Daddy Holy Spirit himself was coming to do. And throughout the choir ministration, the prayers and all that, and even with the praises, songs of immortality, songs of deathlessness mm. were also sung and I believe all these things were in preparation of the word from the throne room mm. lo and behold by god's grace <laughs> in god's own appointed time mm. the man of god dr david bindan took the stage and introduced the topic to us lay the foundation of this subject matter why we need to discuss or learn about such a topic in mm. this matter mm. and for us to live in the reality of it wow. so yesterday was in fact it was mystery being unfolded hey. i love how he called it and quoting from the pauline epistle to the church of corinth he called it as a great mystery wow. and this is a mystery which is only understood by those initiated hallelujah wow, wow. so <laughs> yesterday was mystery mm. being unfolded exactly. so this mystery was unfolded mm. to us can you take us further into this mystery that was unfolded to us Hallelujah. Thank Thanks you so God. much, Dr. Ghani. <laughs> so, as I said, this mystery mm. is only understood by those that God has initiated mm. in terms of the understanding of this mystery. The man of God, David Mbindan, he took it from this point by, first of all, building an understanding of who we are in Christ Jesus. Wow. Then he now came in to define what deathlessness is mm. to this new creation. Wow. And I love how he defined it. I just want to quote it directly from what exactly he taught us mm. through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. He said, it's a state. It's the state and nature of living without death. Wow. A state and the a nature, nature of living without death. <laughs> and he defined the state clearly using um, the scriptures in 1 John chapter 5, verse 1, John 1, 12, 13 john 1 18 and drawing our attention to the fact that as we are in christ there's the state called christ mm. so we have been brought into christ mm. and in christ there is deathlessness there is life mm. so death now has become a thing of the past because mm. we have been translated we have been passed on from death to life wow. so as long as we are in christ that state of being in christ is actually a state of deathlessness wow so in Christ, yes, it's a state. Yes, and in that state, yes, there's only life. Exactly. So we've passed. Yes. That lesson is a thing of the past. It's a, a thing of the past. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> death is actually a thing of the past. Mm. We have been brought into life. Mm. We have been brought into life. Then he took on the explanation to the nature, the nature aspect of the definition. Mm which to me it was quite mind-blowing wow. these are not things that you could understand with your mind you have to understand with your spirit mm. because these are revelations that have been hidden and as he himself said um revelation is progressing mm. and we have gotten to that generation which he believes mm. as the spirit of god is leading him to which we are also now understanding mm. as a deathless generation mm. and i was i was actually listening closely you know, you hear certain messages you want to shout, mm. but you hear other messages and truth just dawns on mm. you. 
the truth the weight of the truth that comes it dawns on you <laughs> and it's like there is a form of koinonia with a truth which mm. is going on in your spirit <laughs> and all you can do is to is to just fix your eyes on the spirit of god that is speaking through the man wow. servant he moved on to the nature and the nature aspect is where he dealt with how man was delivered from the body of sin the mortal body and brought into the Christ life. <laughs> it's 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 a state. In fact, those of us who couldn't make it yesterday, I would advise us to all go to the Dr. David Binan Live and listen to this message over and over again. I believe wow. it's a message for the end time. Yeah. Hallelujah. So if you couldn't make it <laughs> yesterday, make sure you go to the David Binan Live page and re-listen. And Pastor says over and over again but pastor before you continue we're talking about revelation yes but all these were in the scriptures it wasn't like trying to conjure something from somewhere these were all biblical exactly wow can you continue yes so one thing i always say about ncc dr bendan does not make a statement without a scriptural basis mm. And not just a scriptural basis, but having a given out a perfect explanation to that scripture mm. as the Holy Spirit grants mm. him all trance. And that is exactly what we witnessed yesterday, wow. what we participated in. Mm. You, you know, and I love how he took the scriptures from Romans chapter 1 and he was taking it as if we were in a, walking in a journey, <laughs> explaining chapter by chapter. And we finally <laughs> landed on Romans chapter 8. Hey. You know, and you can't come to NCC and not have enough scriptures to go and meditate mm. on. You can't come to NCC and words are just spoken in isolation. No. Mm. Every word coming from the pulpit is actually backed by scriptures. Mm. And these are scriptures. One, they may we already know them, mm. but the Holy Spirit gives it a new flavor to mm. the scriptures. Mm. <laughs> it's like mm. scripture, the scriptures are being read. As if you've never heard them before. <laughs> but you've read them. You've even thought on them. Mm. But the Holy Spirit gives a different dimension to the wow. scriptures. And I'm so glad. Mm. And I'm so honored. Mm. Because most of the things that were shared, we know them. But the, the spirit behind the message is what I'm so happy about. Wow. That this is a spirit that it challenges you mm. as a new creation mm. that this is the life you are supposed to live. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. It challenges you as a new creature that this is the life you are supposed to live. There's a spirit behind the message. Wow. But are you done with the nature aspect or there's still some <laughs> more to share with us? Yes, there's still some more to share with us because uh, the man of God took it also from the point of how we have been programmed in Christ to experience this deathlessness. Wow, we have been programmed, have been programmed in Christ. Christ. <laughs> to experience this deathlessness. Yes. Ah, yeah. yes. And and he drew attention to the fact that the ultimate error of Adam's sin was actually death. Mm. Mm. And he went on to tell us that the ultimate result of Jesus' salvation that he brought to mankind is deathlessness. Wow. So Though uh, that is not the ultimate purpose, <laughs> but that's the ultimate result mm. of Jesus' salvation that mm. he brought to us. Mm. Because mm. he further buttressed the point that the ultimate purpose of Jesus coming to this world mm. is to bring men into sonship. Wow. <laughs> so, Adam took humanity into death. Yes. Jesus came yes. and brought life exactly. without death. <laughs> exactly. So. so, Jesus undid what Adam got men into. Wow. I'm so blessed. Wow. So, can you throw more light on that? The yeah. Father will be programmed for this light of yes, deathlessness. Yes. And one one key thing the man of God drew attention to is death came in as a result of sin. Mm. And he drew attention to what the script when you go to Romans chapter five, he told us how sin came into this world and how sin reigned and how death reigned through that. Then he he drew attention to what Jesus did. Grace abounded where sin and now Jesus has ushered us into this life. Mm. In Romans chapter 6, and he went on to ask us whether we are going to continue in sin so that grace may abound. He said, certainly not. 
And that is where the man of God drew attention to the fact that in as much as the body of sin has been dealt with, we should not create the environment that will keep us or remind us or move us in that sinful nature because that has been dealt with. The body of sin has been dealt with. Wow. And sin no longer has dominion over us. Hmm. And if sin no longer has dominion over us, the same applies to death. Hey. Death no longer also has dominion, dominion over us. us. Wow. And these are scriptures. He hmm. wasn't quoting from a book he read. But he's quoting from the scriptures that are breathed by the Holy Spirit. Wow. Hallelujah. Praise <laughs> God. Wow. 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 Pastor, I've been so blessed. <laughs> I mean, listening to you sharing what um, we received yesterday from our um, minister of God. And definitely, he's going to continue the matter today. So, still on how the new creation has been programmed for this life of deathlessness. Hmm. So, the body of sin has been dealt with. Then, we come to the mortal body. Hmm. How has God dealt with this mortal body? <laughs> and that is where he took us to Romans chapter 8. <laughs> where he said that, there is now therefore no condemnation for them that are in Christ Jesus. We walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. He said, for the law of the spirit of life hmm. that has made me free hmm. from the law of sin hmm. and death. Hmm. Hmm. So what has brought us freedom from this death hmm. is the law of the spirit of life. Hmm. Walking in the spirit. Hmm. And he, he buttress it further in the verse 11 where he tells us that the indwelling of the Holy Spirit mm. has quickened our mortal body. Hallelujah. Wow. And <laughs> that point sets the whole auditorium electrified by the Holy Ghost. That the indwelling of the Holy Spirit has quickened this mortal body. So if it has quickened this mortal body, and I love what the verse 10 and the verse 12 mm. of that same Romans 8 says, that now we have been brought into life. Mm. So if we have been brought into life and the apostles went on to tell us in the subsequent verse as to how, <laughs> in fact, there's a groaning to get out of this body in mm. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, hmm. where the man of God drew attention to the fact that even with the apostles, they were groaning to be out, <laughs> not just leaving their bodies, but being clothed <laughs> with that deathlessness. <laughs> And if we are the generation, as the scriptures are telling us, why not? We will accept this truth, discover more about this truth, and walk in this truth. Because we are the generation. We from what the Spirit are of God the is generation. Us. Wow, <laughs> thank you so much, Apostle. <laughs> Apostle said we should accept this truth and walk in this truth because we are are the generation there's more to discover and that's why you should make it tonight at the accra international conference center exactly 5 30 p.m as we have the day two of the new creation conference wow our time is uh, running very quickly um before we uh we end uh, this discussion we are going to have the special ministers fellowship exactly 8 30 this morning at the accra international conference center you know it's a special aspect of the new creation conference for ministers of the gospel can you briefly tell us about it and inspire anyone who is watching especially if that person is a minister uh to be there this morning thank you very much i want to specially use this opportunity to tell us about what goes on in this minister's conference i've been in this meeting participating in this meeting when it all began and i'm so glad seeing this it is a time where ministry becomes very clear to us. It's a time where all ministers that come, I, I will put it this way, the Holy Spirit instructs us in the way it should go for almost a whole year. And we meet another year and we receive another dose. Mm. Because every minister's conference I've been to, it comes with its own instruction from, the, from Daddy Holy Spirit. And though the minister of God is keep buttressing the point that this is not an ncf ministers group his forming mm, mm. but rather it's a body of christ to keep sounding the awareness mm. of what true ministry is wow. as a result of our personal relationship with the holy spirit mm. being displayed on the outside mm. for everyone to see mm. and 
these are things that i believe in this day where perversion is taking root in several ministers life i believe these are things that every minister must come around to listen to mm-hmm. because every time we ministers keep giving giving out giving out but we ourselves we are not being watered <laughs> and when we come for this ministers conference we are watered as mm-hmm. ministers mm-hmm. we are instructed as ministers and truth is made bare to us as ministers mm-hmm. to know exactly what our father is doing in these times for us to follow him and follow him mm. carefully wow. and i would use this opportunity to invite every minister of god that is listening to me that if only you will make your way to the accra international conference center this morning at 8 30 a.m i believe your life as a minister and the ministry that god or christ has ordained you for it's never going to be the same hallelujah praise the lord wow so you must be there if you are listening to us this morning wow so before we go this evening day two what are your expectations and what do you have to tell all of us thank you very much dr Gani, for that question in fact <laughs> the minister of god says we should come because part of it is going to answer a lot of questions mm. on people's minds mm. and i can say that almost everybody in the auditorium actually has questions mm. on our mind mm. that if we should meet him face to face there are certain areas of the scriptures we also want to mm. open because not with the mind that we are challenging the mm-hmm. teaching no mm-hmm. but because we want to discover more wow Wow. So we are not going to ask those questions or we have those questions in mind because we don't believe that. Mm. No, mm. far from it. Mm. But because these are questions we as well, we keep asking ourselves. Mm. And it's like for a long time, answers are not coming. Mm. But by God's grace, such an avenue given to us that questions on our minds are going to be answered wow. through the scriptures. Mm. I'm so glad about this. Wow. And wow. I want to use this opportunity to invite everyone to find their way to the Accra International Conference Center this evening between the hours of 5.30. And I strongly believe that you are going to receive the questions on your mind, even by seeing the billboard on <laughs> deathlessness. And we've been ushered into this life of deathlessness. Thank you so much. Sir. Wow. <laughs> now, I like what you said. Mm. You're asking questions, not, not because it's a means of disproving what is there exactly. or doubting what is there but you are settled on the reality exactly but you want to discover more exactly. so that you can actually express exactly. this life exactly. that you have already been programmed exactly. for exactly. wow so make sure mm. you find your way to the Accra international conference center this evening exactly 5 30 p.m finally apostle as we round up someone is listening to us that person is not born again has not received christ can you uh lead a person to receive christ thank you very much sir so if you are listening to us and you have not made jesus the lord over your life the bible says that neither is there salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given amongst men by which we shall be saved that name is jesus in some few minutes i want with our eyes closed i want you to repeat this words after me even as i lead you to christ father i thank you for sending your only son begotten jesus to come and die for me i believe with all my heart that you raised him from the dead for my justification i confess jesus this day as my lord and savior thank you for giving me eternal life and by faith i know i'm a member of your body of christ in jesus name amen amen wow thank you so much so i've had apostle dr timothy ama glory uh with me uh this very moment sharing with all of us what transpired at the accra international conference center yesterday and i believe that if you have listened you definitely know that there is more to chew upon and in fact you must be settled on the reality that we have been ushered into this deathless generation and like he said everything that was shared 
by our ministers of God was based on scripture. So don't miss this evening's session of the New Creation Conference. I will be expecting to see you there. So till we meet again, remember that life is good. Enjoy. Death is not correct. Death is the last enemy and we are here to abort it. And on this mountain, he will destroy the covering that is cast over all peoples and the veil of death that is woven and spread over all the nations. He will swallow up death and abolish it for all time. Isaiah 25, 7-8a Get ready for the New Creation Conference 2024 with Dr. David Bindan on the 14th and 15th of November 2024. Theme, Deathlessness. Venue, Accra International Conference Center, Ghana. Time, 5.30 p.m. each evening. Now is the time to challenge death and normalize deathlessness. Hallelujah. New Creation Conference, helping you exhibit the divine life. Shout me, death is a shame. Oh, hallelujah. The final global movement brings the whole world appetizer before church. ABC with Dr. David Bender. Yes, just before you go to church every Sunday, spice your spirit up by joining the appetizer before church. ABC with Dr. David Bender and receive the present truth of the message of life and the divinity of the church. It is this message of life and the divinity of the church that the apostles of Jesus Christ preached, the apostle Paul preached, but the dark ages buried it. And this is the message that the Lord has sent me to this whole world, to bring to the world, to bring the body of Christ onto that state of the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Appetizer before church, ABC, with Dr. David Bender comes up this and every Sunday from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. at the Good Life Center 2, Kolegono. Also connect to ABC Live on David Bendan Live YouTube and Facebook and watch a rebroadcast on Movement TV every Sunday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. You must never miss. Thank you for joining today's episode of your favorite Good Life devotion with Dr. David Bendan. The Good Life Devotion is proudly brought to you by friends and partners of the Final Global Movement. For more information on how to become a partner, call us on 053-444-6907 or log on to our website, finalglobalmovement.org. Become a partner today and contribute to the global spread of God's message for the now. Follow us on our various social media handles and you will be blessed. Don't miss the Good Life devotion on the channels displayed on your screen at the scheduled times. Till we come your way with the next episode of the Good Life devotion with Dr. David Bender. Life is good. Enjoy. Enjoy.